Good morning, Richard Eclier. Happy Wednesday morning to you. Happy through the week. The one just flying by. Um, we're on a Wednesday, so on your four keys to a healthier and happier you, we're on a relationship Wednesday. And I was reading an article on relationships the other day, and it was saying, it was interesting saying how we really, it's, it's all about mindset. Everything in our life is about mindset, to be honest, whether it's health, wealth, relationships, or mindset, it's about mindset. And just saying what you focus on in a relationship is where, where you're going to end up going. You sort of choose the path you're on. It's like you're saying, if you had like an argument or a quarrel with your partner, Sometimes then you think, oh, is this is this relationship worth it? If it's like a bigger argument, and you then sort of tend to focus on the problems of the of the relationship. You still look at the, the things you've sort of argued about, the things you've disagreed on, the things that have upset you, and it's this sort of, and you sort of start to actually look for all the little problems and the negativity in that relationship, and then you're sort of head down a negative path, and then you, you're quite often you can end up breaking up down the road just because you focused on all the problems of the relationship. Well, if on the other hand, if you were still, yes, you'd have an argument, then you sort of focused on the good of the relationship, on the on the laugh that you've had, on the good times you've had, on the enjoyment you've had in the relationship. The argument won't seem so important and you'll sort of get over it and move up the other path, which is much more happier, content. And you sort of, you're going to have ups and downs in any in any relationship, because that's just the way relationships go with two different people on different paths choosing to be together. But it's just, it's the mindset is so important because if you sort of focus on the negative, it's going to take both of you to obviously want it. If one's, if one's focused on a negative path, they may continue to move down it. And you can't change someone's mind. You can sort of support them best you can. And you can be the best version of you you can. And you can sort of help them that way. But if they're sort of determined to go one way in a relationship which isn't with us, then that's going to happen. And if you can't change them, we can just do the best we can, be the best person we can and support them. And if we choose that we want the relationship, they may come back on board with it. But if they may not, they may not. It's just never know. But as long as you do what you're doing, and basically what they're saying is, it's what you focus on is what you'll get. If you focus on the problems of a relationship, you're going to find more and you're going to have more problems. If you focus on the good times, you'll have good times and you'll focus on the good times. They'll, they'll come in, you'll get more good times as well because you'll be looking for things to do more good together and build a stronger relationship. So it was interesting, basically, just wait, but it's the old saying, what we think about is what we get. And it's so true. The more we focus on something, is that's where we're heading towards. So if we focus on a more positive, more happy relationship, we're going to have that. If we focus on a more negative, more problems, we're going to have that. So it is down to mindset. I mean, any relationship is just, yes, it's choosing what we want, looking for the good. Think of the positive things, plan things ahead that we can do together, share and just be together and enjoy each time together. And that just makes such a difference in relationships is because so often we go through, life, especially when we sort of having kids and things like that, there's just so much going on. You don't often have time for the relationship. We sort of being a mum or a dad or whatever we're actually doing and with the kids and stuff like that. And it's just always so busy trying to juggle everything. Sometimes just making a little gap, a little time just for ourselves in the relationship, just to have like little quality time for ourselves. Do something, have a laugh, either watch a funny film, we'll go out or do something. And just laughter is such a good, such a good bonding way. There's no things like having a good laugh together. It's, it's just brilliant. It just does help. Just lift the mood and lifts everything. It does help bond. So such a strong feel into it. Um, that's my little thought on relationships today. Hope you have a good day today. Got any value from this? Please drop me some comments below. My name is Richard Eckley. You can touch with me at rickeckley67 at yahoo.co.uk. All the best.